welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm making pumpkin bread. This has been a family favorite that I've made for over 25 years. I always like to make it in 10 to 12 mini loaf pans, freeze them individually, and pull them out all during the fall and holiday season. To make this bread, these are the ingredients that you're going to need. Two 15 ounce cans of pumpkin puree this is not the kind of pumpkin that you buy to make a pie with as far as the spices have already been added. This is just the plain pumpkin, no spices because we're going to add plenty of those later on. Five eggs, three and a half cups of sugar, two cups of canola oil, four and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of salt, four and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of ground cloves, one and a half teaspoons of ground nutmeg, teaspoon of ground ginger, a cup of chocolate chips, and 10 to 12 of these mini loaf pans that are going to be sprayed with cooking spray. To start making this bread, I'm going to start with my wet ingredients and a big mixer. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our pumpkin in. Cans go in. Then we'll put our two cups of cooking oil. This makes a lot of batter. Our five eggs will go in. And next, our sugar. really well, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to put my dry ingredients in. So we'll start with our flour. Salt. Baking soda. Our cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, and ginger. And now we're going to incorporate this very well by mixing it together. Start off really slow or it'll make a mess. Kind of let the flour get mixed in a little bit before you turn it up higher because it'll just fly all over the kitchen if, if you don't. Turn the mixer off and scrape the sides down so that we can get all of the batter really mixed in well. So pop that up for a minute and make sure all of our dry ingredients are scraped from the sides of the pan. And I'm going to lower it back down and mix one more time for just a few minutes. The last step to making this bread is to add the chocolate chips into the batter. Now you can either stir this in by hand or in my case I have a stir setting on my mixer so I'm going to put the chocolate chips in the batter and let the mixer do the work. Our chocolate chips are stirred into the batter and we're ready to put it in our baking pans. Now that our batter is completed, I'm going to show you how to fill the little mini pans. The pans that I have here have already been sprayed with cooking spray and we're going to fill them about half full each with batter. And I like to use just a cup measure and fill it up. I'm going to do a couple here and then I'll get the rest done 
and then I'll show you how many it has made before I put them in the oven. I finished filling my loaf pans and I had enough batter to fill 12 mini pans. Now what I'm going to do is put them in a 350 degree preheated oven for 30 to 45 minutes. Our pumpkin bread baked in the oven for 40 minutes at 350 degrees. After 30 minutes I checked it with my cake tester and it did not come out clean so I gave it another 10 minutes and then I checked it with my cake tester and as you can see it's clean so that means it's done. So what I want to do now is take one and serve it to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to turn it out and then I'll flip it back over. And this is what it looks like when it's done. And now I'll slice a piece and it's still really hot. And that's what it looks like. And this is my pumpkin bread. What I do with these is I individually freeze them in Ziploc bags and pull them out as I need them during the fall and the holiday season. I hope you get a chance to try it and I hope you enjoy it.